What is going on guys? So today we are going to cover some of the best jobs in the army. All right, so I know I just said, I just said it, that we're gonna cover some of the best jobs in the Army, but really what we're gonna be doing is going over the best branches in the Army that contain the best jobs. Because if you've been watching this channel for a while, if you've been watching live streams, if you watch things like that, you know that I don't think that there is any best job in the Army because everything just has to do with your personal preferences. So like, you can't say, oh, what is the best job to have in general? There's just not, a way to do that you know technically i think like the united states ranks a software engineer as like the number one job because of the pay because of like the work-life balance because of just like it's not a very physically demanding job so like technically that's the best job by some sort of standard but at the same time if you don't like sitting at a computer all day if you don't like you know just writing code and just doing things like that if you like to move around if you like to do things with your hands then you're not gonna like that job. And the exact same thing goes for the Army and all of the different Army jobs. People ask me all the time what the best jobs are. They ask me if I should do this job or this job or this job, and I can't answer that for you. But in this video, from my personal experience, I'm gonna cover some of the best branches that contain some of the best jobs. In most of these, I will mention a specific MOS that I think probably is the best MOS for that branch. Now, two things I want to mention before we start, you know, really getting into the details on this. The first thing is the branches and the jobs that I am talking about. You know, again, it may not be your favorite thing, but the way I am personally judging this is based off of like work-life balance, you know, you're in environments where you're not going to be super stressed out all the time. You might be in an environment where you have less to worry about you have less you know uh, superiors that are you know breathing down your throat that are really harping on you to get all these things done so there's a less stressful environment also less like physically demanding because unless you're doing infantry most people don't really like doing all that infantry stuff where you're going to be out in the woods for a week at a time doing an ftx and having to ruck miles and miles and miles most people don't like that but if you do then infantry, the infantry branch 11 series would be your you know, place to go. So that's kind of like an honorable mention. If that's what you want, which you know, most people don't want that, so that's why I'm not including that. And you know, me personally, I don't want to be infantry, so I'm not gonna include that, but if you want to, that's an honorable mention. But the first branch of the military that I think is, is one of the best, and I'm not doing this in any particular order because if you, you guys just heard my spiel, is the 68th series. So if you are 68th series, those are all of the different medical MOSs, and specifically one that is uh, you know a great place to work, in, in my opinion, if, if you're kind of interested in this type of deal, is 68 Charlie, which is the Army's nurse. So if you're interested in this whole medical deal stuff and you, you know, kind of want something in the medical field and you want something where, you know, you don't want to be a combat medic, which some people do want to be a combat medic. If you don't want to be a combat medic and you want a job that will transfer to the civilian sector really easily transfer to a job that you're going to get paid pretty well, then the 68 Charlie is going to be that MOS for you. If you like the medical field in general, which I think overall is probably one of the best ones then 68 series is gonna be the way to go. The caveat to this branch of the military though, is it's gonna be difficult, okay? So, you know, if you wanna be a 68 Charlie, it's not gonna be the easiest thing in the world to do, to pass, you know, going through AIT, it's not gonna be like some other different MOSs where, they are, where their AIT is like very, very simple and you'd have to just basically not apply yourself to, you know, fail that particular AIT. So that's the one caveat to that. It is going to be difficult to get one of the MOSs in the 68 series. Now moving on to the second branch of the military that I think is one of the best and that is MI, so military intelligence. This is one of those that some people think it's going to be pretty cool and you know if you're interested in analyzing data, if you're interested and you know you know kind of in a in a sense thinking like a detective if you want to you know possibly go into the you know uh fbi later cia later even police later you know once you get out of the military 
then MI could definitely be the job for you. You're not gonna have, you know, super physically demanding days, but you know, you probably are gonna have mentally demanding days when you gotta figure out a whole bunch of issues and problems and stuff like that. The AIT for this, depending on the MOS, is probably gonna be medium to high difficulty. So it's not gonna be crazy difficult depending on, uh, you know, again, the MOS that you pick. And this is one of those branches where I don't really know which one would be the best MOS for you to pick. I just do know that MI as a whole is definitely a good branch to be a part of. And moving on to the next branch of the military that I think is probably one of the best, and that is the ordnance branch of the military. Now one of the reasons that I'm including this branch of the military is because the MOSs that make up this you know, field, they're pretty interesting MOSs. So if you're interested in big, cool, army, military type stuff like tanks, you, you wanna be a wheeled vehicle mechanic, that's probably one of the, the cooler, best MOSs for this branch. Because number one, it's got really good, you know, civilian equivalencies. And then you get to work on some pretty cool vehicles, but also, you know, you have different fire support uh, MOSs, you can deal with different ordinances, you know, in the army, and that may be something that's cool and very appealing to you. And I think that, that this branch probably appeals to a lot of different people. And then again, it's not going to be something where, you know, you're going to be doing those infantry ruck marches all the time. So the uh, difficulty physically of this isn't going to be so bad, but also you're going to be dealing with some cool equipment. So I would say that ordinance is probably one of the best branches of the army to join and be a part of. Now for branch number four of the military, this one, I may be biased, but I would say that this one is probably the best just overall branch of the military to join and that is being signal so if you're a signal soldier i think that you probably you know i wouldn't even say probably you made a good decision being a signal soldier literally no matter what mos that you're in as a signal soldier as a 25 series i personally feel you're setting yourself up for success here you know just again you're not going to be doing all the crazy hard labor stuff that you may not want to do you can do that if you want to maybe you want to join you know the 75th range regiment and you want to be a signal soldier in that you can do that there's a lot of opportunities a lot signal probably has the most opportunities out of any other branch in the military for places that you can go schools that you can go to you can still do cool stuff in the signal branch if you want to but if you don't want to and you just want to be that computer guy you can definitely do that too and you are kind of like the crutch of the military communication is kind of like the crutch of the military you've got to be able to communicate and that is what signal officer offers so pretty much no matter what mos you pick in the signal branch i think you're gonna be doing okay me personally i went with what i thought was the best which is 25 bravo so that was information technology specialist and so you know again that's there's a little bit of bias in this part but i do honestly believe that the signal branch is probably if not the best branch of the military, but probably, if not most people would agree, it's like in the top three or two branches of the army. And then the fifth and final branch of the army, the newest branch of the army, that is cyber. So the cyber branch of the army is new. It has only been around since 2016 or so, and there's only two different enlisted MOSs you can go for. Essentially one for offensive, a cyber attacks and one for defensive cyber attacks and so you know whichever one floats your boat i don't really know of much of a difference as far as if you're interested in one you're not interested in another you're probably if you're interested in cyber both of those are going to be fine for you so i'm not going to pick which one is the best but definitely this one is great because the opportunities as far as getting promoted quickly is definitely there with cyber because you know usually your promotions are going to be slower if you have a lot of people in that specific branch because you have a lot of seniors and higher ups that are kind of just sticking around. They're just staying there and you can't move up until other people move out of the way. And with cyber, they're trying to fill all those slots right now. Still, it's only been out. Uh, it's only been a branch for less than four years. And so they're still filling all these positions. So if you join the cyber branch, if you happen to be skilled enough to do this because it's definitely going to be one of the more just like you know it's the 68 series probably even more so than the 68 series getting accepted and qualifying for the 17 series cyber branch is going to be difficult but if you do then you're going to get promoted probably way faster than the rest of your peers and also one of the positives about the cyber branch is number one it's just it's just way different and basically every other branch of the army 
you're gonna have a certain structure. Some of the different branches may have different nomenclatures for stuff like company or battery or whatever, but essentially the structure is gonna be the same. You have multiple squads that make up a platoon, that make up a company, that make up a battalion, that make up a brigade and all that, you know, and so forth. But with cyber, it's going to be a whole lot different. If you are in, cyber, in the cyber branch, you're not going to have like a big platoon of people. You're just going to have like a team that is going to consist of you, some other military members, and then probably some civilians as well. And you're going to kind of work together as just like a small team. You're not going to be over a whole bunch of people. So if you make it up to the NCO ranks, it's not like you're going to, you know, be in charge of a whole bunch of privates and stuff. That's not going to be the case. If you're an officer, you know, one of the things for the officer in the cyber branch is they don't have platoons in the cyber. So you don't get the platoon leader position, things like that. You're essentially just working as a, a very small specialized team. And that can be an awesome thing because you're not gonna have so many higher ups over your head. You're not gonna have so many little privates and stuff to worry about once you get to the higher ranks. So there's gonna be a little bit less stress as far as that is concerned. But I'm sure that the stress of defending and attacking using cyber attacks is definitely probably something that's pretty stressful. But I would say that if you're interested in that field, then this is probably your best bet. And then on top of all of that with cyber, if you get out of the military, you're gonna have crazy certifications, you're gonna have crazy experience and stuff, and you will easily be able to find a job. You know, when it comes to the signal branch of the army, you don't necessarily have to get some certifications. So, you know, you could get out of the military as a signal soldier or really any other soldier and you just, you know, didn't really apply yourself, you didn't get the proper certifications, and then you may struggle to get a job and you may be like, oh, you know, I have the army experience but you don't have the certifications with cyber like you have to do this stuff like you have to get some of these certifications you are going to get some experience and so that is going to help you whenever it comes to getting a civilian job that's probably one of the best pros for the cyber branch is if you do decide to do that you're going to be setting yourself up on the civilian side whenever you decide to get out of the army so that is my personal opinion on some of the five best branches and their mos's that make up those branches in the army it's just my personal opinion i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button that would be awesome if you can stick around some more of my videos hit the subscribe button that would be even better and the notification bell button if you want to really make my day follow me on instagram and snapchat if you haven't already hope you guys have an amazing freaking day and i'll see y'all later